Hey Checker fam, it's Charlie, and currently Jada and I are getting out of California. Gotta say, it's really beautiful. I got to see Hollywood for the first time. Honestly thought the Hollywood sign would be a lot bigger. I guess I was wrong. Uh, place that I would love to see again, but not my truck, because that is not fun. Especially in the little city area, lots of traffic, tight turns. Oh, definitely a learning experience. And make sure you're extra cautious but it's also wonderful because it's 55 miles per hour through the entire state which is why I love getting out of California so I can make some miles up but in the last video you may have heard me say that I had a cold coming on and this video I kind of want to touch on getting sick out on the road because it is a lot harder to get to see a doctor and you should always put your health and your safety in before the load. Yeah, we all want to make our money. We all want to keep rolling. But sometimes it's best to pull over and get help when you need it. Especially if you think you need major medical help. Um, as in emergency room. Find a safe place to pull over. Call immediately. Because it's going to take them a while to get to you. and Or for you to get back to the doctors. It, I've heard. I've seen other videos and other people talk about guys dying in their truck because they didn't call the doctor and they didn't call in time. So don't take that risk, pull over, find somewhere safe, call the doctor. Now if you feel like you've got a virus, stomach bug, or food poisoning, find a safe place to pull over, call your um, dispatcher, your driver manager, and be like, hey, I'm sick, if they need to repower the load or move the date let them know because like I said your health and your well-being is more important than that load now my first time getting sick my tonsils like I was teaming with Nicole and I was miserable I made her miserable I was so sick and we ended up passing things back and forth and my tonsils had swollen up so like like little rocks on the side of my neck and it was excruciating I couldn't eat anything I couldn't speak and luckily I had Nicole with me so she could still continue to drive but I um I was miserable and I really need to see a doctor there is an app um, my company offers it I can't if I could think of the name I would but you there's like different apps you can google them and everything like that where you can like FaceTime a doctor which is also really convenient for us truck drivers because finding an actual doctor on the road can be a bit challenging Especially like getting prescriptions filled or anything like that. It's not easy. Uh, this last time I got sick, I had a virus, stomach bug. It made me really, like I couldn't hold anything down. I was really dizzy. I was exhausted. So I did my 34 and I have a friend that lives in California that made sure I got to the doctor. Made sure I was okay before I went back out. He's like, you're not going back out on that road no matter what. If you don't feel good, you stay here. And I was really grateful for that, to have such a good friend. And I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm still a little hoarse from being sick. But I'm one of those people, like, if I don't feel good, I'm not putting myself at risk. I'm not putting anybody else at risk. Now, probably the worst was probably the food poisoning. That is something I do not want to experience again. Like I said, call your dispatcher, let them know what's going on. Make sure you're well before you have to get back on the road, get rest, get back to 100%. Now, I, I get cut up on the road a lot and you can get infections really easily because like diesel fuel, I always have it on my hands. I, like, I can't keep my hands clean enough. Like I keep hand sanitizer, soap, everything like Make sure you wash them really good because you can really get sick from almost anything. Especially at truck stops. Like, you don't know what if that last guy that picked up that pump handle and fueled and everything, if his hands were clean, if he washes his hand after the bath, after he uses the bathroom. Like, most of them probably don't. And I've seen a lot of women that don't wash their hands. And, like, I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. So, like, I try to get them as clean as possible. Um... One thing I do want to mention is, I think it's a great idea, I heard another trucker was talking about this, to keep a little medical bag on you, some aspirin, Tylenol, um, 
they have these vitamin C pills that are great for helping your immune system boost vitamins, um, band-aids and stuff like that for cuts. Also, a little trick, I know it, instead of using cough syrup, pineapples and pineapple juice is great for a sore throat and coughs. So that's something I like to keep on my truck. Um, don't keep anything that would make you drowsy, any um, medicines that you are questioning if it should be allowed on the truck or not. Call your company and ask them. Um, let them know like if you have to have this medicine, if the doctor prescribes you something that will make you drowsy, that you cannot be on the road while you're taking this medicine, let your company know in advance. But I just want to like go over all that, like being sick, it happens to all of us. It's eventually going to happen if it hasn't. Like this, you can't prevent everything. But wash your hands, keep your medical kit, eat health, try to eat healthy, try to get your vitamins in and like your supplements. I like to keep some in. I can actually show you the one I use. I use this Woman's Ultra Meg Mega from GNC Vitamins. And this is an immune support and antioxidants so this really does help that's one of the things I like to keep with my little medicine bag uh, also no sporn it's great for everything but that's all I wanted to talk about today is getting sick on the road and things you can do to help and prevent and it happens to all of us so if you do get sick I'm sorry I know it sucks you'll get through it y'all have a good day and stay loaded and keep rolling till next time trucker fam Bye.